so it is 7 56 in the morning where i am um i'm in california right now so i gotta sleep in a little bit with that uh time change and everything so i'm here now i'm gonna go get an empty it's like up the road like a couple miles away i was trying to get an empty at this terminal but they don't have any empties available um all the empties that they have are like for their dedicated accounts so i'm about to go get this empty um and yeah i'm gonna do like a day with me so i'm here right now they sent me to a walmart but i guess like they're sending everybody over here to get empties so there's like barely any so this guy right there in the little stops thing right there is um he told me to just wait right here and he's gonna go find my empty for me so that's super nice that's one thing about being like a woman in the industry all the men will try and help you so like i just use it to my advantage so he's gonna go find an empty and bring it up to me and i'm just gonna wait for him to come and i'm just kind of sitting like alongside um the trailers right here so i'm gonna wait for him to come back with my empty and then i'm gonna hook up to it and go pick up my load so empty but he just like left it in the middle of the parking lot so i didn't want to like record me hooking up to it and like take up more time and space so i just hurried up and hooked up to it but yeah i'm waiting to get out of here now and then i'm gonna go pick up my load so yeah you were looking like you thought I was going to hit you. Hell no, I trust you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'm on my way to the load now. It is, let's see, it is like 45 minutes away. So with that one, I'll show you guys like how to unhook and hook up and stuff hopefully this one i didn't want to like you know i didn't want to just like be in the way and video it because yeah but we're gonna go do that and then i'm also gonna bring palm for another walk when we get there because he drank a lot of water so i got here and i've been waiting like literally probably close to like 30 minutes already um to get into the actual place so this is like where i am right now there's like a line of trucks waiting to get checked in and I'm hoping that it's a preloaded trailer but let me turn my blinker off I'm hoping that it's a preloaded trailer but it doesn't give me a trailer number or anything in the actual like information so I don't know but I'm hoping it is because that'll take like probably so long for them to load it because they're taking forever just to check in so I'm praying it's a preloaded but yeah so I'm just waiting and I'll let you guys know after I check in the fashion. Okay y'all. So I finally like went through the guard shed. That shit took fucking forever. So now I'm I'm just looking for where I'm gonna drop this right now. So that is basically But I'm about to see where I'm going to drop this and then video me dropping it. Don't forget to record. So basically, I'm backing up into here. Um, I'm going to have to pull up because I haven't pulled up yet. Okay, now that I'm here, I'm going to get out of here. I am on the other side. And see where my trailer's at on the other side. So I have way more than enough room. So boom, 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 boom. At this point, I'm gonna pull up a little bit to straighten my trailer out. Okay, so now my trailer is like, 
I'm going all the way left still because the back of my chair is still. do the landing gear. I'm about to go under the trail. Uh, I always feel weird, like people are like gonna look at me weird or something if they see me do this. But okay. So basically this is the landing gear. This is like the most workout I get driving trucks. Fucking landing here. Okay. Okay. Landing gear is good. Trailer's detached. My kin pin release. Do that. This. Now I'm gonna come. Oh, shit. Now I'm gonna come right from under this. Oh, he wants help again. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so now I came straight from under that trailer. Go help him again. Have a good one, you're welcome. Okay, trailer, I'm gonna go find my loaded trailer. So, my loaded trailer is gonna be D0141. D, I have no clue where the fuck D is. I'm about to see. Oh, it is so fucking hot over here too. That is W. Where is D? <laughs> It's gonna be in a door. Oh, I know. They don't have like letters labeled anywhere. So, like, it's confusing. Okay, I think I see it. I think it's one of these. Yep. It's this one right here. 4 1. So then I'm gonna go all the way left. Until I see my trailer. Okay. I kind of fucked that up, but whatever. So that's my trailer. That's okay, so I can tell right now that I think my trailer is actually high where it's at. So. Actually, I don't think so, but just in case, I'm going to do my... Just in case. Yo, this one is so hard to do. Oh. Okay. Let's go down a little bit. All I need is for it to go down a tiny bit, that way I can go under it. So. Now we're good. Now I'll be able to go under it without coming out from it. So, oh my god, I can't freaking breathe.
so hold on y'all I'm on outside it's 111 freaking degrees right now 111 degrees what the fuck so I had to go and put my landing gear down oh my god landing gear down more so I'm hoping actually let me do it with my window down Perfect. Now I'm gonna go do the landing gear in the airlines again. Oh, y'all, I gotta put y'all down for this. is an accurate representation of what I go through daily. <laughs> oh. So. It is so hot out here. Whew. I'm freaking dying. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up a little bit. I was thinking about, I hope that they don't have no fucking, what's it called? Chocks on the tires, because sometimes they be leaving them. Okay. Now I'm gonna go put my handy dandy lock. at a gas station because I'm gonna weigh this load just in case and I'm also going to pick up my freaking microwave and I'm praying that it's not broken y'all say a prayer right now for me okay let's see y'all okay it's not broken she's in she's in very much good shape go clean my windshield or I'm gonna attempt to
Yeah, I swear to God, if that microwave falls again, I lose my shit. Or actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna be able to scale my load with this guy here. Because he's like in the way, so. I'm gonna do, um, what am I doing? What am I going to do? I'm gonna go off duty. Yeah, off duty, don't fuck your body. And then I'm gonna walk home. Come on. And I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I don't know where I'm about to walk him because there's not like grass or anything. But we're gonna make it work. Hold on, Paul. Watch out, Wait. Hold on. Wait. He jumps out now. Arizona. This is where I'm at right now. Y'all can't really tell, but it's like, it's low-key pretty in person though. Like mountains. Your steer axles, you do not th want them over 12,500 12, pounds. Um, anything over that is overweight, which honestly, that one, I'm never overweight on. It's either the um, drive axles or trailer axles usually. So your drive axles, you don't want it over 35,000. Um, I think it can be 35,5, um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't really, something like that. But I'd never let it get over 35,000. And then um, your trailer axles, you don't want them over 35,000 either. So your total weight should never be more than 80,000 pounds. Um, unless obviously you have endorsements and it's like in, you know, um, a load that's overweight or whatever. But yeah, so I'll show you guys really fast just to look. So each, where that pin is right there, each hole is about 250 pounds. So when I'm overweight, you just do the math. So if I was overweight like a thousand, on one of them I would slide it like five holes or whatever all you have to do to slide it is pull this handle and there's like a little slot right there and then you just um, you would just put your trailer brakes keep your trailer brake on and put your service brake out and then um, just reverse or drive up depending on which one you're trying to move the weight to so that is how you would do it um, that 250 rule, sometimes it is a little off because that's just like an approximate because it really depends on how your trailer is loaded too. Okay. okay, so I just got to Love's where I'm gonna gas up, but literally there is no fucking parking because it's so late it's eight o'clock over here so the time change kind of like fucked me up um i'm about to walk palm to after i get gas because he's been super good like he has not cried till now so i'm about to walk him but i'm gonna get gas really fast first um i'm just waiting for this guy to move. okay so why does it look like i've been crying i'm just like so tired I got Arby's, I got, you can't even see, I got a chicken sandwich and fries, so yeah. I'm about to eat and then I'm gonna go to a rest area that's like 20 miles from where I'm at. Cause I have two hours and 11 minutes left. So, I'm just gonna, gonna go to that rest area and leave out. It's 8.39, so by the time I get there, 
I'm only be able to leave out at like 7 in the morning tomorrow. Um, I'll have like 6 more hours to drive, so. Okay, so I know y'all can't see me with this light. I ended up getting the last place in this rest area, so I'm parked at a rest area for the night and I just walked to Palm and did post trip and everything. So now I'm just about to go in and brush my teeth and then I'm going the fuck to sleep. I'm so tired, so. I'm gonna do all that and then um, change too. So, yep. Bye.